We are going to get to the NFL and Rob the huge game. It's a huge weekend, obviously. They're down to the elite eight in the NFL, so all the games are huge and important. But the biggest, arguably, is Buffalo against Cincinnati in the AFC. And, of course, they were starting to play in the regular season when DeMar Hamlin was injured and suffered cardiac arrest, and the game was canceled. And... um so they never finished that game. The Bengals were up 7-3, to three, about five, six minutes into the game. Uh, but they will play again this weekend, and, of course, we're all looking forward to it. But um, Joe Burrow, Rob, will also be eligible for a long-term extension with the Bengals this offseason. And, of course, I mean, they'd want to bring him back. There's no doubt about that because, uh, you know, he's obviously worth the money and a great player. But their owner, uh, Mike Brown, or the team president and owner, he said this uh, this week about Burrow. Uh, he's going to have a long career. We certainly want it to be here in Cincinnati. I think his window will extend over his whole career, echoing what Burrow said. But there is the fact that when you don't have to pay the quarterback some extraordinary amount, that leaves room to pay other players more, and therefore you can keep more players that are good players. That's what people are referring to there. Mahomes and others of that like, his words, they seem to make it go even after they have gotten their payday. So he's basically, he's implying, insinuating that uh, he wants Joe Burrow to take, you know, less money than he's worth on the market so they can keep some of their other players. Rob, your thoughts? Uh, this this is why when he said his window is going to be open the whole time, I already – Cincinnati has a history. They, they're not like the big boys. They don't have the same kind of money. He shouldn't even be talking about this, about asking his quarterback to take a hometown discount. He, he, not what, now. What, why is this a conversation, Chris? Seriously. It, it just – it does. this is why teams don't win. This is why certain teams don't win. You can win. talk about that, like, first of all, not after the season, right? You, there's no need to talk about that right now. It's good for us as media. No, I'm, But also, fine. Rob, I don't know that you ever need to put that out there. If you want to, when you meet with Burrow no, and his he's, representation he's, and you say, look, Joe, you explain it as you see it. We can't keep Jamar and T and Tyler and, and Mixon and all these guys. If we pay you this, you know, like you can deal with that, him and in, in privately with that. But to Chris, put it out there, I, I don't know if it'll come back to bite him or not, but I, I don't like him putting it out there like that. No, and what he does is he makes it puts the onus on the kid. Right. That's right. what you're doing. You're turning the fan base against him. Joe, why you got to be so greedy? Yeah, don't take course. all the money. You yep. know, save it for so that we can win a championship. How much is enough? You don't need that. No, he's not saying, why don't you, lo I'll lower the ticket prices. Hey, Joe, take less, but I'll make the ticket prices le less. I won't charge $9 for a hot dog. You, right. Do you see what I'm saying, Chris? This is all to make the fans go against Joe Burrow or to make him feel well, I don't think like, that's his plan. But no, it, but that's what happened. It could have that impact. Absolutely. Well, Rob, when, when Mahomes took less money, it wasn't like the Chiefs weren't out there weeks, months before saying, yeah, he's going to have to gun. take less. He just, it was a surprise, right? It was a surprise, everybody. Wow. I mean, obviously, it, it was promoted as half a billion dollars, but it was a surprise. And I, I'm with you on that, Rob. Like, like it just, I, 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 I don't know why you would put this out there, what, three, four, five days, whatever it is, before a playoff game. I just don't. It doesn't make any sense, and it, it's 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 unfair. Chris, they already changed the rules against the quarterbacks. You remember the number one pick used to get paid big time. All the players ganged up against the number one picks. Oh, why should they get paid that much money? They haven't played it down in the NFL. So 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 the owners got the players to 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 turn well, on the, the quarterback. Scale. That's that's right. They turned on them, right? Because it was more of them not getting that than the quarterbacks. And now they're telling the quarterbacks, again, 
No, you shouldn't take the most money, even though we all know without a quarterback, you ain't winning jack. Almost not. No, you know what I mean? Unless, well, you, yeah, have a superior, you, can, unless right. you have a superior defense, Chris, you're not winning a Super Bowl. Well, and I, I think and it's I, and, unfair and to put the burden the on scale. them. I don't. I, I don't think it's just they're just trying to keep quarterbacks from making the money because obviously they do make the most money. But it was just a rookie scale because whoever the number one pick is, you know, you yeah. Could but it's mostly name nowadays your price. quarterbacks. I, I I get it, but I'm you saying can name it was your. Wrong. But you know what I'm saying? Like remember the NBA? I thought it was. I thought the rookie scale was good. It's good because in the I, NBA they were just holding the teams hostage and getting all this money. They they might not even be that good, and they're making more than. Perennial all stars and all, all NBA players, and same in the I, NFL. So yeah, I, I don't I, mind that. Yeah, I, I disagree. When you when you put in the work and you're like a big time college football player, and you that don't won mean you're gonna you be a big yourself, time pro player. I, I get it, but that's that's buyer be that's that's the the deal. You roll the dice. They could sign a a big contract too, Chris, and not pan out totally. So you right, you can't, that's what I'm. Well, well but, yeah, but, but you you, you you only get the big contract. It typically, if you've proven yourself, yeah, but it doesn't always work out that way. I mean, I, all I'm saying is, I thought it was bad. I, I, I just don't believe in it because there's no profit caps for owners. They don't care for an owner to stand out there and talk about taking less when he's charging forty dollars for a hot dog. I, I just, I have a problem with it. That's just me. Well, they, they have a cap though. They do have a cap. Now you can argue whether or not they should have a cap. But when they do have a cap, it does impact, you know, what you can add to your team. Because I, because I just say, well, the cap they come up with, right? I mean, we we not the cap is in place. If they, I want show me that's another conversation. Show me the profits that they make. No, I I know, but I'm saying that's a different argument. I'm just saying under the rules they have, no, I it it. is true that it's harder to add around a player, or you know, players around a quarterback that's making top dollar. I got no problem with them making top dollar. I but just, I'm just why, saying, why should he I, take less? Joe Burrow, tell uh, uh, what's in, uh, I just forgot his name. Um, the owner, Mike Brown. Brown. Mike, tell Mike Brown he should uh, cut his profits. Tell him to take less money. How much money does he make? Open your books. I, I dare to quarterback. Well, they do to tell when a, they collect an do do bargaining. I mean, but Rob, I mean, the, the, but the cap is real. I mean, that's for collective bargaining. But I you can't that. just act I, you not, act like. There's what no I'm salary saying cap. Is, it did is it's real. What I'm saying is I'm not taking less. That's for you to figure out. You figure it out. That's why you got a capologist. That's why you have a GM. You figure it out. You can yeah, make but it if work. You, you, you figure out and you take. Look, I don't have a problem with a guy taking more. And I don't have a problem with a guy taking less. Like, it, it, it's up to Joe Burrow. If he feels like, you know what, I think we will be able to keep more guys if I take less, but Chris. make sure you're right because Mahomes took less and they lost Tyreek Hill. Okay, let now me there's ask other you. players there you, you got to keep and, around. And, and, the, and the Rams are way over the cap, Chris, with bonuses. The Saints are cleared over $100 million against the cap in one season because you could finagle the numbers. The, the Rams won a Super Bowl, and what, what did they do? They paid everybody. They gave Matthew Stafford. They, they're way over the salary cap, and they still won. So it ain't just well, if one, you take and now they're right now. They're, okay, but it, but we don't but, know what their future holds. I, I agree, the future's messed up. But I'm talking about it. Don't mean that you can only win one way, which is by the quarterback not making any money. That's a fallacy. Well, but he, it's not about him not making any money. I mean, Tom Brady always took less money for the most part, and he still has made more money so far to date than any quarterback ever. Now he won twenty five years. Obviously, at the end of yeah, but he but years ago he still has surpassed everybody. Peyton Manning and all these guys. So he won't be that obviously going forward. But I don't have a problem with a guy that could get forty five million, saying I'll take forty. Now, if he wants to take all forty five, fine. But I'm just saying it's it's up to Joe Burrow. And if Burrow wants to do, it depends on what he wants to do because I don't think. It's not going to affect the other players. You know, like, we that was the thought. But Deshaun Watson took all his money, and Kyler Murray still got less. And Russell Wilson took less. You know, got less than, than Watson. And when Patrick Mahomes took the, the less money than he could have got, Deshaun still got 
all the money he wanted. So whatever Joe Burrow does, the next quarterback can do what he wants to do. So that's that's my thinking on it, Rob. But I don't I don't I don't like Brown putting it out there. To me, that serves no purpose at especially at this point in time. It really doesn't. It, it's just some certain things you don't need to talk about. And he's negotiating in the press, Chris. That's what he's doing. He's, he's Not putting smart. out there. Yeah, he's putting out there what Joe Burrow should do and be worried about. Fans are now reading that. that yeah, Joe, don't take all the money. We need this. We need that. We need, we need to win. Uh, don't be greedy. And then that's the word that gets out there. If he, t- if he wants the max deal allowed for him, he's greedy. No, right. he, that's right. what he's worked for. It's not, right. He's not greedy. Right. 